Miles, year three, a new coach. How has this training camp been different? What is the energy? What is the vibe out here? Uh, I could just start by saying that, uh, I mean, if you if you guys seen the practice, you know, it's very, very, very competitive. Uh, we do a lot of situate. At this point, we, we got all the installs in. Uh, we got to learn the stage out. Now is, we're doing a lot of situations, which is uh, pretty different. We did a lot of situations, you know, uh, last year, but um, but we do a lot of different ones, like like four minute. We didn't practice and stuff like that. Uh, uh, two minute, yes, I think what two days ago. Yesterday was uh, short yardage, you know, just constantly just get, bringing out competitive atmosphere uh, to the to the to the uh, practice, and um, you know, it's very competitive. Ones against ones, twos against twos, you know, and. It, Threes against threes, you know they're trying to uh, earn a spot and stuff like that. But not. But I, I, overall, I love the I love the vibe and the chemistry is good. You know, all laughing, joking around when we have time to. But um, but it's very 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 competitive, and I like that. Yeah, Nick Sirianni is very competitive. I mean, he's mm -hmm. even talked about rock paper scissors, yeah. everything coming down to every little thing. He has a competition every single day, every mm -hmm. single play. Do you think that's going to bring out the best in you guys come week one? Absolutely. Um, you know, I mean, we're already competitive as it is, but, you know, doing that consistently against our guys, trying to make each other better, I think that's going to help even more. And especially with the chemistry that we already have. Uh, I think the chemistry between the team is, is crazy. Like, everybody's laughing and joking with each other. You know, some people are talking to guys that they never even thought they would talk to, you know. Um, like like a D lineman talking to the kicker, you know, uh, like stuff like that. And like I said, I just like the vibe. Sirianni, tons of energy, tons of enthusiasm, tons of passion. Is that rubbing off on the team? Uh, I believe so. I believe so. Especially uh, everything that I just said. Um, yeah, I definitely think uh, that the vibe is his vibe is rubbing off on everybody and throughout the whole coach, the whole coach staff, like the same. So they they bring the whole energy too. So. But um, it's definitely spreading through throughout the whole team, the whole building. You know, everybody's just, just cool people. You know? And, you know, a lot of guys have said that Nick Sirianni's not afraid to call out a guy. Oh, no. He has to. Holds everyone accountable. Has he called you out yet? Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, I have had some drops this this uh, this practice. Uh, not this practice, but um, this uh, this training camp. You know, he's not scared to call nobody out, whether you're a 10-year vet, rookie, don't matter. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we go over. Uh, reviews and, and, and mess ups in front of the whole team, so they don't get no no <laughs> on spot than put on spot than that. So, and yeah, he's just holding everybody accountable, which uh, probably probably say we, we probably lacked or anything, but uh, yeah, it, so good there, feeling. Though. There, there's always this debate: are they are they running the ball enough? Are the Eagles going <laughs> to run the ball enough? Is is Nick Sirianni going to run the football? Uh, I know you hope so. <laughs> I mean, I can't really, I can't really say, sit here and say, yeah. But, I mean, uh, it's a pretty balanced offense. You know, we, we run the ball every day and pass it. We practice on everything, and uh, you know, whatever the game plan is, I, I just know I'm gonna do my job and do whatever to help the team win. So I'm not really worried about that. Just hope we come out with a W. That's that's I think that's what everybody's hoping for. What are you seeing from Jalen Hurts? I know you've talked about his leadership and his work ethic. Everyone has been really mm -hmm. impressed with that. What are you seeing from Jalen? Um, this is uh, his approach, like this, his approach from when he f got his chance last year to now. I mean, it's definitely grew tremendously. But you know, working out with him in the off season, uh, you know, picking his brain, you know, getting to know him a little bit more. Uh, I, I like the way he works, man. I love he's real even, Steven. Like he, he's very poised, and you know, nothing's too big or high for him. Um, and like I said, he's a natural born leader, and he's just he's just taking it. Taking this opportunity, and I, you, you can tell he's not going to let go of this. And he's he's doing a, he's going in the right footsteps right now. Are you impressed with that? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So when you look at this young offense between you and Jalen Hurts, Jalen Rager, Devontae Smith, it seems like you guys have like a strong nucleus on offense that you guys can build from and, and kind of be a you know a strong offense for years to come. Do you envision it like that? Absolutely. I mean, we're not we're not where we want to be right right now. Uh, we're off to a good start, a really good start, honestly. But um, we know we got way more work to do, even though how young we are. Uh, we, we know, and, and Jalen lets us know that we have tons more work to do, and we're nowhere near where we want to be, and we can be even better just knowing that. So. How special can this team be? I mean, on the outside, there's not a lot of expectations. You have a new coach, you have a young quarterback, you have a young team. But do you think this team can surprise people? Absolutely. Um, you know, I don't want to say bold rumors and bold statements, but I mean, everybody's every team's goal is to make it to the Super Bowl. Uh, 
nothing less, nothing, you know, nothing more, nothing less. And uh, just don't be surprised if, if that were one of those teams, you know, just don't, don't be surprised. What will it take for this team? You talked about, hey, we still have to build for you guys to get from where you're at right now to take it to the next level with this young talent that we talked about. Uh, just continue working, continue grinding, to continue getting better uh, every day and use these vets that we have to our full advantage because all the vets that we have on the team are the same dudes that's been on the Super Bowl team. I'm Other, sure you picked their brain. Yeah, hey, what does it take? Absolutely. I'm, I'm always talking to Kelsey how I was uh, during the Super Bowl season. I talked to BG a lot, like how, how was it during the Super Bowl season? What was the vibes like? What, what, what happened here? What happened there? Because uh, they even started off slow that year too. So, I mean, you're not going to start off you know, everybody wants to go seven, what, 17 and 0 now. 17 now, now yeah. yeah. <laughs> 17 and 0, but you know, it's all about the chemistry and you know, holding each other accountable. So just you know, picking their brain, listening to them, and just just working our asses off every day. Last thing for you, 17 game season. Mention it there. As a running back, that's a lot of wear and tear in your body. What changes have you made, if any, this off season and now in camp to prepare for that? Uh, like I just told them, um, I've been training like I'm on Olympics, so uh, hopefully it pays off. I, I switched up my training. Uh, instead of trying to get into, in shape, I was staying in shape as soon as the season over, and it's been it's working out so far to the best of me uh, so far, so I'm, I'm excited for the season. Well, hopefully you get that gold medal, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Miles. Appreciate it. Good luck Thank this season. You. Thanks for having me.